Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to help support this channel, it won't cost you anything. All you got to do is use the links in the description if you want to get one of these for yourself. Hey, what's going on, Rich? Back with another awesome video for you. So today, I wanted to show you this amazing monitor. So this is the Samsung Odyssey Neo, and it is a 49-inch monitor. This thing is massive on the sides. These are my Yamaha HS8 studio monitors. They are absolutely massive, and this thing just makes them look small. So look how big the studio monitor is compared to the actual monitor. Uh, that's my MacBook Pro 13 inch. That's my iPad 12.9 inch Pro, Steinberg, Xbox controller, uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max. And basically this thing just dwarfs all these things. I mean, just to give you an idea, so I got the new iPhone 13 Pro Max right there. Got the 12.9 iPad, and I actually have the MacBook Pro right underneath. I got a nice little Logitech mouse over here. So I can't complain. I mean, I pretty much got everything I need to do my work and enjoy some music on these studio monitors. Yeah, I'm actually filming this on my other 13 Pro Max. So really, really great. Got a good little studio going on here. And again, it took me a long time to save up to be able to buy all this stuff. So don't think that, uh, you know, money grows on trees because obviously it doesn't. It took a lot of hard work and dedication to be able to pick up all this amazing equipment. So the display size is 5120 by 1440. It is 120 hertz coming out of the Apple because unfortunately we got to do a USB-C to display port in the back. Otherwise, if we had a display port to display port, we could do 240. Uh, you could do that with a PC, but this is a 240 hertz monitor. The colors are absolutely bonkers. Everything looks beautiful on this thing. Um, I cannot complain. I'm absolutely loving this. Everything displays great when it comes to color rendering and everything. This is a mini LED monitor, 240 hertz. It has G-Sync, the uh, beloved. I mean, this thing is redonkulous. So I got three windows, one running side by side. You could do four if you want. You could just make these all a little bit smaller and have four windows side by side. You could have a uh, little tabs open on the side to do different apps and different projects. Have a little stock ticker, you know, whatever you wanna do, you can do on this. And I really think something like this is great for productivity. Uh, again, I had the original Samsung Neo uh, 49 inch and it was the 240 hertz display and I had a little flickering issue and basically it would not stay set to the refresh rate that you set it at. It wouldn't stay set to the resolution that you set it at. You know, real pain. You had to go back in here and do all this and change all the settings and everything. And it was just, you know, really horrible. So I love the fact that this thing just works and you go in here, do whatever you want to do. Scrolling is pretty seamless no tearing or anything like that when you're scrolling through stuff. Um, everything looks really good. Colors again, immaculate. Like look at these colors, they just jump off the screen at you. Again, I do have a MacBook Pro 13 inch hooked up to it. I do not run a PC as of right now and it, it plays very nicely with Mac. Again, you just go into the settings, um, do the 240 Hertz settings on the monitor itself, do the 120 Hertz. Um, I turn black equalizer all the way up to 20. So these are all my settings. So here are the settings. I got the black equalizer set to 20, which basically means it's off. Response time is all the way up. I do 120 hertz to match what the Mac is outputting. Adaptive sync is off, low input lag, and all the settings are pretty much in there. It's really easy to go through all the settings and change everything however you want. The colors are very close when it comes to my Mac. As you can see, the color rendering is uniform all the way across the whole screen. I don't have any problems. Uh, everything looks great. As you can see, if you look at it off axis, it looks washed out. And then when you get right in front of it, it really immerses you in the color. And you have to be level with it. You don't want to be above it. So again, off axis from the side obviously is a problem too. So you basically just want to be right in front of it. That's one of the big takeaways from this video. It looks a little bit off on the sides right here because of the video, but I can assure you that in real life when I'm right in front of it, there's no problem at all. It's just the way the video is picking it up. When you get off axis, like up looking down at it or down looking up at it, it's not gonna look good. Other than that, I think this is an absolutely incredible monitor. Uh, if you're in an office, if you have some workspace, if you're gonna be doing any kind of gaming, any kind of web design development, anything, it's absolutely incredible. Color rendering's great, speed is, is absolutely incredible. It's super heavy. The stand down here, as you can see on the bottom, it looks like a giant boomerang. Super, super heavy, very, very stable. Even when you move the desk around, the, uh, this is a very solid desk. You know, I spent a lot on this to be able to get a nice solid work desk, to be able to have my studio monitors on the side. I was gonna mount this monitor up against the wall to give myself more space so that the edges of the monitor would be on the inside of these studio monitors. Obviously, I wouldn't be blocking my studio monitors with 
the, uh, the computer monitor. So this was actually gonna get, I just haven't had a chance to do it, but this was gonna get pushed all the way back to the wall and the monitors were gonna be sticking forward to get that perfect triangle. Uh, anybody that knows anything about a recording studio would probably be yelling at me and be mad at me in the comments that this is blocking the speakers. But again, this is just temporary. I just wanted to get everything set up for the video. I love this thing. I would highly, highly recommend it. Uh, just make sure you don't get one that flickers or has any kind of problems, any kind of uh, spottiness on the sides. Make sure none of the pixels are out. Uh, and basically, the easiest way to do that is change the desktop background. You can change it to a solid color. Make sure you move this, obviously, so you can see if there's any pixels out behind it. Then go down to black. Basically, it looks like it's turned off. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. So make sure in the black background, there's no pixels that are lit up. And make sure when you go to a white background, you don't have any dead pixels that are black that are out, that are different colors. Uh, a couple different times, I got like neon green pixels, neon blue. And basically, they were just really bright, different colors that shouldn't have been on the screen. They were dead pixels. So that's all you really got to do. Just make sure you go through. Obviously, move this each time. Make sure there's no pixels out behind the screen. Go through the whole screen. Make sure there's nothing out. And if you're good, you're good. I highly recommend this monitor. It is the Samsung Odyssey Neo uh, 49 inch. This is the mini LED version. Very expensive monitor, but in my opinion, for work, the time that it saves you from opening and closing tabs and opening and closing projects is priceless. I never thought I would have loved the curved monitor, but this thing is the perfect curvature. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure to do that now because I'll have more awesome videos coming up. Uh, if you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the section below. As always, I'm going to leave some links in the description if you wanted to pick up one of these for yourself too. So uh, that will definitely help support this channel so I can make some great videos for you. So thanks again for watching this video. I really hope it helped you out. I hope everything's going good with everyone and uh, I will see you in the next video.